Thank you. My journey to this stage today started six years ago when my daughter Dahlia was diagnosed with brain cancer at the age of two. Her diagnosis was unknown, but the prognosis was grim. And she wasn't set to make it through tra traditional um, treatment options. So conventional treatment options for her included surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation. Before her first surgery, I was told she wasn't likely to make it through. So I asked what would happen if I decided to forego those options and was told that the state would take custody of my daughter and she would undergo them without me. I knew early on that this didn't look good, but when she was started on chemotherapy, I was aware that our journey had just begun. She suffered every symptom and side effect you can imagine. Sores from the tips of her lips down her entire GI tract. Her skin came off. She was in so much pain, I don't think that she wanted to wake up. And that's a hard place to be as a parent. I started looking at anything that might be able to help her. The ketogenic diet, but pediatric cancer patients aren't allowed to have dietary restrictions. I found that cannabis around the rest of the world was seen as medicine. There was science backing it, there were medical professionals backing it. So I asked our doctors at St. Jude how to get cannabis for my daughter. And they said, marijuana? That's illegal. Um, we had gone from Florida to Tennessee for treatment at this point, and it was illegal both in Florida and Tennessee. It wasn't until her third emergency surgery through her skull, where a history of stopping breathing and difficult resuscitations lent her no medication coming out of that surgery. So she had no pain medicine coming out of a surgery through her skull. And at that point, all of the repercussions, consequences, and laws in the world faded away. And I illegally gave her cannabis oil. Overnight, everything changed. She slept through the night for the first time in her entire life. She woke up hungry and thirsty. She never had to get a feeding tube. Her atrophy started to disappear. She started to walk. And most importantly, she wanted to be alive again. I cannot explain to you as a parent what it's like to watch a two, now three-year-old little girl lose the light in her eyes and the will to live. But cannabis gave all of that back to her. I knew this was a federal issue. No parent in this country should ever experience what I did. No patient should suffer needlessly. But I believe in starting in my own backyard. My daughter also deserved to be home with her family and friends who loved and cared about her. So I came back to Florida, and I wanted to change the laws here, but our politicians would not help us. So we had to pass a constitutional amendment where our neighbors came out on our behalf and voted in cannabis as medicine in the state of Florida. And since then, our politicians continued to do everything they could to keep us from gaining access to that medicine. They kept citing that there wasn't enough research, but the truth is, those very laws, scheduling cannabis wrongly as a Schedule I drug, were what were keeping the research from being done. The first scientist I ever spoke to is the world's leader on cannabis medicine out of Israel. And the first thing I asked him is, where do you get all of this money for research? And he laughed and said, your government, the United States government has been funding research on cannabis out of the United States for decades. President Bill Clinton, while in office, signed a patent application on behalf of the United States government for cannabinoids as neuroprotectants. Yet, they continue to schedule it one, which means the most dangerous drug with no known medicinal benefits, and refuse to give patients access to it. When soccer moms and PTA moms and pastors' wives are realizing that a law is so bad that they'll break that to help a loved one not suffer, that's changing the entire paradigm of a society. What you get when people stop trusting the government and the science and medicine that follows the bad laws and cultural norms and social stigmas is a lot of pseudoscience, a lot of people who suddenly become Google scientists. You get profiteers who take advantage of that. Right now, you've got CBD medicines being sold on Amazon and at gas stations that are unsafe and unregulated. 
I just hope that as we move forward, as we do get these laws changed, and as we do get this science going, that we don't forget these times in history and these injustices. Because the truth is, is science and medicine are always prone to be suppressed by bad laws. Bad science is paid for, and we just can't continue to let that happen. We have to remember these times in history. With that comes personal accountability. I shouldn't have had to fight for my daughter's life and then simultaneously be fighting bad laws and bad politicians. I shouldn't have to be doing research, but I'm here at USF in the lab doing research on cancer cells. We're bringing in hundreds of thousands of dollars to the university to get this science going because now as these laws are changing, millions of dollars are funneling through cannabis is medicine in Florida, but the science still isn't happening. I feel like each and every one of us needs to be accountable for the causes that are brought to our doorstep. I easily could have circumvented the laws, gotten my daughter the help she needed, and been done. But I could not live with myself or sleep at night knowing how many other people were suffering or completely unaware that this was medicine, that these laws were in place, and that this science needed to be done. Whether it's an injustice at your workplace or global warming, if you see an outpoint, research it. Find evidence. And the powers that be have vested interest in the status quo. They're not the ones who need to know about it. They already do. Your neighbors need to know. The masses need to know. If you see something, say something, and then do something. You find your voice when you find your cause and you take it on. We're all depending on that. Thank you.